Well, here's the situation. We're on a little hike slash walk. Do this every so often. Well, Ryan likes to check out the landscape when he's home. So you can see power company put in all new poles a few years back. So basically this is a snowmobile trail. A lot of people use it for hiking and walking, dogs and mountain biking and stuff, so. <laughs> the walk. Cue montage music. Music. Hopefully this doesn't get all Blair Witchy. And I'm not just saying because of me, because the camera work on Blair Witch sucked. And I don't want to have to put you guys through that bullshit, so. Don't see a rock formation, I'm out. All right, we hit the access road. It's proving to be a little bit more grueling than I thought, but it was all uphill, so I mean, what the hell? So we gotta remember this is this is the path we're going. So the deal is, we're walking down this access road because Ryan thinks he remembers cabins or something. Or a nudist colony, I'm not sure. And possibly the rumors <laughs> of a nudist colony, but I don't know. I, I think that's just a lot of hearsay from... The cabins could have been further down that way. I don't know. I know on the other side there's cabins, but... What do you mean the other side? The other side of the road. The power line? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's something I'm thinking. We used to go up here for a while. It's only been a few times So let's explain what's going on here. Courtney found a feather, and she's going to contact one of her, like, biologists. Biologist friends, biological, Bird yeah. Ornithologist. Ornithologist friends to we'll identify. We'll find out the culprit of this feather. Now, for those of you who don't know, which is probably many of you, Courtney's a what? Um, what do you mean? Entomologist. Oh, I study bugs. She studies bugs. And she, so she has this like circle of like scientist friends that like study <laughs> animals and stuff. So it's like, the who wants to be a millionaire lifelines, she could like reach out and ask anyone animal, any animal question. <laughs> and like in, instantly get an answer. Let's so see how long it should take. Let's see. So in case you're wondering, we're still on the hunt for the cabin. Still, the which very I, I'm, sneaky cabin. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I remember many cabins. I guess we'll see. I can't wait to find it. Oh yeah, there is a house. There's a cabin. That is not a cabin. That's what I remember. Oh yeah, there's a road. This is like... It's a cabin. Alright. Well, it counts. I mean, that's... That's how I remember it. That's a cabin back there. I don't know how good you could see that one. It's pretty nice, isn't it? It's a house cabin. I have seen a cargo. Yeah, see there's there's the road. Well I'll be dipped in shit. We actually found cabins. So Two. Ryan's memory wasn't as bad as I mean I'm not saying I didn't believe him, but I didn't remember Take them, two. so <laughs> Yeah, I don't I think the first time I taped this I wasn't recording, oh, so geez.
Oh, they drive so good. This bridge is new, though. Newer, yeah. It'll hold a few sleds on it. You're good. They just don't want people riding on it? Yeah, they don't. They totally have this thing closed down if it's not snowmobile season. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy. They must have really had that. And we're back, pretty much. What time is it? About 30? Oh, you can't see it. It's not like the other one. It's old school.